Hey guys, it's Drew here, and uh, I got the motivation to make a video. Uh, yes, the sun's out, and uh, they're letting people out of the quarantine temporarily, well, for whatever period of time. So anyway, I'm in the mood to make a video, so I thought I'd make one today for you guys uh, about what to do if you have a dog and you want them to sit in the front seat, which isn't the safest thing. I won't, uh, you know, my dog likes it. And I, I just know that if I slam on the brakes, I have to be mindful because, uh, you know, but he likes to sit in the front. Um, he's absent right now. He's inside. It's hot out. So, uh, but anyway, so what I wanted to also, a lot of times, uh, these seatbelt things, they can actually malfunction to where they're constantly beeping off. My dad's Mercedes has that. He has a 2005, uh, 300 E, I believe I want to say it is. And, uh, there's. Stark over there. I'm my pile of recycling. And uh, so, yeah, he likes to ride in the front seat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you a, a, a quick hack to just stop that seatbelt bell from going off. So what it is, I guess there's sensors in the seat. And uh, if it senses that there's weight in the seat, uh, then it'll set off the signal alarm. And it just constantly beeps in my 2008 PT Cruiser. Uh, it's it's just a thing they do in most modern cars, I guess. So, so what I got here is a seatbelt piece from another PT Cruiser, from my scrap PT Cruiser. You can also get these in a junkyard, obviously. I think they're like anywhere from eight to 10 bucks, depending, you know, whatever. So when you insert this into the uh, seatbelt thing, it keeps that beeper from going off on here. And it and it pretends that there's a seatbelt in there, even though there's not. So my dog can sit in the front seat and, uh, you know, I really love it. Also, if you have a malfunctioning one, if there's not a person in the front seat, you know, like I said, my dad used to have to do this and this is a real pain in the butt. You have to literally leave it like that, you know, and for a while I had my dog sitting against this, which was really uncomfortable for him. Um, anyway, you know, I do recommend you, you probably let your dogs in the back seat because we have had a couple quick stops and he's flopping against the dashboard. So it's not the safest thing, but this is more or less a hack. If you've got, um, if there's a malfunction with your seatbelt alarm, like I said, especially in the Mercedes, um, with that, it's either a pressure sensor in the seat. I have no idea how it works, but sometimes even though this is done, you know, there's a connectivity circuit here, I guess it'll beep off even if there's not anybody in the seat. So a fix to that is go to a junkyard and get one of these. Um, I will show you also, Let's go in the back seat here. This is where I took one off of my other car. Now, I don't recommend doing this if you have children, but this is the middle seatbelt here. And uh, very few people use the middle seatbelt. So you could, if you know you're not selling the car anytime soon, you could clip this off the middle seat. <laughs> it's expensive to redo the seatbelt. So make sure you know that that's what you want. I wouldn't necessarily do it. I'd rather go to a junkyard and pay 15 bucks than ruin the car. But, um, if it's an older car and you just don't care, you can clip that middle seat belt there. I don't know anybody, I call it the bitch seat. I don't know anybody who buckles up in that seat, except maybe kids. If you've got kids, don't do it. So uh, you never know who you're gonna sell the car to. So I wouldn't cut that. But that's where I took it off of the uh, other PT Cruiser over there. So I'm lucky I've got my $400 PT Cruiser for scrap and parts. Uh, okay guys, well, I hope you're doing well amid the COVID-19 crisis and that you're you know happy to be out again most of you um it's it's uh, coming up on memorial day weekend the beach here in wilmington is crazy i think everybody from all over the world has come to our town to go to the beach so i hope this works for you i hope it helps you out and you guys have a wonderful day subscribe if you are new and uh for you regular subscribers you rock and i hope you're doing well have a good one thanks